Hello guys, today I want to quickly demonstrate you database encryption in Laravel. From time to time I get that question in comments on YouTube or on Twitter, how to encrypt the database fields. Maybe you have some sensitive data that you don't want people to get access to, even if they hack into your database and get the database out, some fields would be encrypted, not readable, which means they wouldn't actually leak to outside world. So in Laravel Eloquent Documentation, there's a section called Encrypted Casting, which is really short actually. So Encrypted is one of the casting features, and you can read more about encryption and how it works in a separate documentation page but it doesn't clearly show where to add it and how it works. Historically, before Laravel 8, there were packages to do that. One of the more popular ones is Laravel DB Encryptor, which works in a way that you just define what fields in what Eloquent model need to be encrypted. And then when you save the data, it's encrypted in the database. But when you get the data, it's decrypted from the database. And in Laravel 8.12, there was this pull request merged. In October 2020, Jason McCreary created this as a part of Laravel core. So to encrypt some field in your Eloquent model, all you need to do, and I have a demo project here, is add this. So in the casts of Eloquent model, you just add encrypted. And let me show an example of this demo project based on passport number field in the users table. This is quite sensitive data. And what I did is add that passport number to the migrations. An important thing, it should be text, not a string, because encryption may make that value really long. So it should be text, not a string. Then in the register blade, I added passport number. Then in registered users controller, it's based on Laravel Breeze, by the way, I added here passport number. And at this point, it will be encrypted. So password is encrypted with hash make by default, but passport number is encrypted because it is added to be encrypted here. Also, I have added it to hidden property of default user model, so it wouldn't be accidentally returned in APIs. And of course, it is fillable. Now, what happens if I register? Here I am in my demo project. So register form, there's a passport number field, and I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill that in. For example, let it be any number with passport number 501, for example. We register, and then in the database, we have user stable and passport number looks like this. It's even longer actually, but it's actually encrypted. So it's not 501. But if I want to show that field somewhere, of course, you need to be really careful if it's sensitive data, you shouldn't just show it on the page for everyone. But just as an example, in the index blade, I have a separate user controller. So there is a table of username, email and passport number. So I didn't do any decryption or any accessors or mutators or anything. I just call that field as it is. And if I get to that user's table, passport number is actually shown as decrypted. So on the database level, it is encrypted, but Laravel takes care kind of like accessors and mutators to encrypt and decrypt it from the database. So even if someone steals your database itself, they wouldn't be able to decrypt it unless they have one more parameter stolen, which is in .env file, this one, app key. App key is a key for making the encryption and decryption work by default. So you should protect it from being stolen as actually any parameter in .env file from your production server because it would be a huge security issue. And finally, in this video, let's talk about what to encrypt. So as you may imagine, the fields that is encrypted and decrypted is not really easy to query, to sort by, to search for. So for example, if you want to encrypt the user email, then by default, the login wouldn't work. So if you encrypt the user email and that email would be saved in a similar format as this one, by default, then auth login will do user where email something and would fail. And it was really well phrased on a pull request itself by JSON. The last comment is by Richard Stiles on exactly the same situation where someone wanted to encrypt the user email and then login actually doesn't work. Of course, it doesn't work because it's encrypted. And what Richard stated in his comment and what he advised is to encrypt what is absolutely necessary for details like social security number or national insurance number, or as in my case, passport number. So you should look at the encryption of the fields is something like you store the field in the safe box somewhere in the deposit box or whatever you call it, and you don't take it out unless absolutely necessary. So you don't work with that field on a basic operation like table, like sorting, like view something. You just store it and kind of forget about it unless you need it. So I hope it clarifies how encryption and decryption works in Laravel. What is your experience? Have you ever encrypted or decrypted some fields? Did it work for you or maybe you regretted something afterwards? Share in the comments below. 
And if you want more tips on database structure, for example, in my list of courses on Teachable, I have one course that I want to emphasize is how to structure databases in Laravel. It's a two hour course based on Laravel 8 and it talks about relationships, about fields, about how to structure tables, its performance and stuff like that. So you can enroll in that course at laraveldaily.teachable.com or enroll in all of my courses by purchasing a yearly membership and you will support this channel by doing that. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.